Ooh, boy. Yeah, let's take her on. I don't mind these. I think those are the undead moms or whatever. Oh. Okay, so I promised I wouldn't take these kind of chances. And I already am. There we go. Wow. I'm glad there's not a camera on me. If you guys saw me, the way I was moving, like I was actually dodging, dodging her right here. <laughs> like that made a difference for my character in game. Welcome back, zombie lovers, to a new season of Seven Days to Die. This is Alpha 16.3, so this is a new start, a new wipe. I am starting it again, of course. Uh, it was recommended, so we're going to go ahead and start over because we love doing that. And as always, I am your host, Dub 118 uh, from ButtonMashingGamers.com. Anyway, let's go over some of the uh, setups here, and then we'll get going and get underway. Uh, get to killing some zombies. So this will be episode one, day one, of course. Um, we are doing survival single player, random gen as always. We're going to call this one Undead Rising. And then standard options, of course, got to go insane. Go insane or go home. Daylight length, I, I like 18 hours. Got to have the full day. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then, of course, always run. Got to have them running. And then percent profile that whatever. Uh, 24 hour cycle, 60 minutes. I am. I'm on the fence. I almost want to go to 90 minutes. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we should stick to 60 for now. What does that do? See, in this situation, it's 45 minutes of daylight. If we go to this, then it's what? Uh, well, it's more than 60 minutes, obviously. Um, let's stick to 60 minutes for now. Let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, if it's, yeah, I don't know. So what's the longest? 120. Yeah, that, that's too long. 60 minutes is probably a good, good cycle. Block durability, I don't ever mess with that. Loot abundance, I don't ever mess with that. Um, yeah, I've lowered it in the past, but I think with them running it and, and, uh, the difficulty being on insane, I think 100% is the bare minimum. If anything, I would go up to 150, but let's just leave it at 100 Loot respawn time, of course, I always put that the lowest at five days. Um, I need as much loot. And then tool belt only on, on death. Um, blood moon count, 12 enemies. This is what I had before. Um, you know what, let's go up a step. Let's go 16, you know? Why not? What does it go? 64, wow, okay. Yeah, 16 is fine. Enemy spawning on, yeah, I'm not sure why you would turn that off. <laughs> Air drops, I like it every day. I like getting... Presence every day, cheat mode off, and definitely mark airdrops. We'll go ahead and start this here. I am going to pause it here, and we will come back uh, once the whole world is done initializing, and we're ready to go. Okay, here we are. Dear friend, the wasteland can be an unforgiving place, and you look like you should you could use some help. Enclosed is a short guide to help you survive. If you complete it, we just might take in a new citizen. The White River Settlement, it's real and it's safe. Good luck, Noah. And I've yet to find it. I don't think it's real. Anyway, uh, basic survival is your active quest. The quest status is displayed on the objective tracker in the top right of the corner. Blah, blah, blah. Screen for more information on quests. Access your inventory. Navigate to the quest menu. Continue. So, same thing. Uh, same situation. You know, we're beginning. Um, I got to check my uh, settings here real quick. I apologize. Um, let's go to video. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, view distance. Okay. All right. Okay. Looks good. My main thing is I, I want the, uh, no, see, it still looks weird. Let's check it again. I apologize. Uh, field view 80. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. That was the main thing. Sometimes it just looks really weird. I feel like I got a fish lens on or something. Um, I haven't seen any stones yet. Um, so yeah, so here we are. Episode one, day one, starting out. We're in a good biome. I do like the kind of, I don't know what this is considered, the forest biome, I suppose. Um, it's a good place to start. Um, it's not uh, overly hostile. Um, you know, and there is, for the most part, plenty of resources. Um, 
course, making bandages a little tougher. You definitely need to be near a, uh, a desert biome. And I, without making anything else, I don't know what else we have here. So let's put down our bed. Put it right there. Looks good. And now what else do we need to collect? <clears throat> okay, gather small stones. Okay, here we go. Here's two more. Let's grab a few here. Alright. Now we can start gathering some wood here. A little bit faster. So I didn't look over, naughty me, I didn't look over the uh, updates. Um, I can put a link in the description if you guys are so inclined to go and check it out yourself. I do recommend it. I should have checked it as well, but I totally forgot. I just kind of updated and started, started up, and here we are. So this time around, I want to try and stay alive a little bit longer than I normally do. Um, is I want to take less chances. Um, I think that's going to come in the uh, in as uh, my strategy is going to have to be a little more conservative as far as I'm going to have to start putting out. Um, oh, my stamina is way down. Uh, putting out uh, barbed fences uh, more often, um, mainly at the beginning. Um, as time goes on, you know, just like in the last um, season you saw. I mean, I was to the point where I could just go toe to toe with just about any zombie, for the most part. Um, I guess not every zombie, but uh, most zombies anyway. So let's get this going here. We'll get our clothes going, and then we can. Uh, whoops. And shoes, right? Yeah. that down real quick get some trees going and I do want to get some metal here the sooner I can get some raw iron then I can start making some barbed fences um, all right so what else do I need we're oh I didn't wear them Put that stuff on real quick and then watch my heat heat index go way up temperature anyway And then let me know in the comments if you guys want to see me do something different this time. I kind of do the same old thing for the most part. Um, <laughs> try and stay alive. Try not to die. Okay, what do we got for iron? Yeah, let's just scrap it for now. That'll give me 33. That should give me what? Uh, four uh, barb fences. Okay, so I need, I need to do a club as well. Let's do that. So I need another stone axe, of course. Ooh, come on. I just rebuild them. I don't know. Um, why won't it let me? Okay, I was gonna say why won't it let me scrap it? Okay, so what do we got here now? So now they want me to make uh, to gather some feathers here. Is that a nest? Nope, one here. All right. So we need a bow. Easy enough. Get some wood here real quick. Do these grow up into more mature trees? I don't know. I don't know if these are just small fir trees or what they are. I... All right. So, oh, it does grow into a pine. Okay, so it just must be uh. A very young pine. Alright, so what do we got here? And then we need some arrows. We've got eight so far. It's a good start. Um, I probably should pick up cotton, although... Um, I want to get to the top of this hill and kind of take a look around. Um, and then I've got to make some wood frames, it looks like. Alright. 
Make a few of those. Let's take a look here. Oh, here we go. More feathers. Okay, good. What is is that? Is that desert? Perfect. This actually might not be a bad place to uh, set up shop. Um, we've got desert there. Ooh, look at that. Is that um, what is that? There's a road there. It looks like some kind of, I don't know if it's a town or just some buildings there in the distance. Um, that may be worth checking out going over there. Especially that other side over there is a forested area. We could set up base there. Um, maybe in that open area there. Um, and then it looks like there's a snow biome there. It looks like a, a little building there as well. Um, so we've got a little of everything here, which is nice. Uh, I can't tell what that is. That may just be, I don't know, more desert maybe, possibly. And then up here is more forest land, just a little bit elevated terrain. Oh, look at that, and a cave right here too. Huh. Um, What else we got here? And then, yeah. Huh. Well, it, we got a little of everything here, which is good. That's what we need. We need some variety if we want to survive. Let's get more arrows going here. Grab that. Okay, what else do we need? Oh, we need to put some wood frames down. Um, yeah, we could just put them down here. I at first I don't really. I mean, there's. Oh, look at that! More feathers. I I'm always at odds as to where I want to put this stuff at, but you know we can just put it right here. Why not? Doesn't have to be. There we go. All right, and then they're gonna want me to upgrade it. Da da da. All right, good enough, good enough. So let's get some more wood real quick here. You can never have enough wood, never. So until, you know, man. The only problem I don't like is this elevation change here. I, I'm not a big fan of building on top of a hill. I did it once. And all the zombies did was dig underneath me. Um, and partially that was my fault. I, when I dug down and started making um, an underground base, it put me, you know, obviously if you go down a few blocks and they're down there, you're, you know, at uh, equal height or depth, I should say. And that was the problem is that they were looking straight at me and I was below ground. So then they just dug into the ground. Um, I'm not a great fan of that. I'd rather be on a flattest surface as possible and then dig down. Um, what is our elevation here? It is plus 65, so we're quite a ways up. I don't know what the max is. I know, I think below ground, the maximum depth, depth is like, I think negative 57. Um, I don't know for sure. Okay, so they want a campfire here. Um, where is my... My bedroll. I'm going to grab my bedroll and bring it up here. There it is. Alright, so let's grab that. We'll make a campfire real quick here. Just to keep the uh, quest tracking going. Um, I guess there's real no... Not a particularly good reason for me to, to continue it, but other than just to... Okay, so they gave me skill points. I mean, that's a good enough reason, really. So they gave me five. Um, yeah, I think weapon smithing is kind of a big deal at the beginning here. I think it's something we need right away. I did scrap that metal, right? Why can't I see it? Am I blind? Where did it? Oh, derp! There it is. Okay, so let's get some um, barbed fences here. What can we do? We can do six. That, that should be pretty good. All right, so let's get um, let's get some more iron here real quick. And then I'll make an iron reinforced club now. Okay, my dog's getting angry at me. I, I got to go let her in here, and I'll be right back. All right, back to work. All right, so... Definitely need. I don't see any zombies spawning yet, so we seem to be fairly safe at the moment. I I don't recall when when they start appearing. Let's put 
this down. Uh, let's get a f little bit more iron, then we can make ourselves a reinforced club. Uh, I suppose we could make a bow right now. But Joe. Of course. I'll just scrap that. Not sure really if there's any. I mean, other than it uses up more resources, I suppose, than repairing it. Um, scrap that. Until I get a workbench, uh, I can't really do much with it. Once I get a workbench, then we can really start upgrading it, you know, past the, what, 50 points past whatever uh, quality we can make it at. So I probably should pick up, um, oh, that won't be enough. Um, I should pick up some cotton. If we're going to head across that desert area, we can pick up some aloe and start getting some bandages going. Um, I don't remember if I have any to begin with. No, I don't. And I probably should put down this bedroll too. Yeah, let's let's finish this real quick. Now, where is the settler at? He is up there. So I wonder if that was that shop that I saw over there in the corner. Um, let's get some cotton going here. It usually grows really well over the uh, clay... Uh, areas all right good that's not gonna be enough but that's a start how are we doing on wood wood's not great whoops and then how are we doing on iron let's do that oh it's still not enough because it's gonna use a hundred isn't it um club Bob club no I think it's iron reinforced Eesh. Yeah, so we might as well just sit here and just collect some resources, I guess. As boring as that is, it's got to be done. Um, man, it looks so weird to see my wellness at 100. I spend so much of my time being below 100 that... Yeah, it's miserable. But, we're going to start uh, to try to change that around. Got a few seasons under, our, under my belt. Got to start to learn how to stay alive longer. The zombies have gotten definitely gotten tougher, uh, faster. Um, as I remember, even when they did run in the past, you could always outrun them. You could outdistance them, except for the dogs. I don't recall the dogs being uh, being that easy to outrun. Um, all right, I'm gonna need another stone axe here as well. Let my stamina catch up here. We'll just stick that right there. And then while that's doing that, let's go put my bed up here. I thought I put... Oh. We can just put it right there. Alright, let's go back to work. Is it this one? Yeah, it doesn't matter. There's plenty of rocks here. Let my stamina go back up here real quick. So we might be able to make it to the um, to the uh, merchant a little or the trader a little faster than I normally do. I suppose I could just repair it. Yeah, oh, it only goes down one, so yeah, and then we'll just switch back and forth. Okay, let's see what can we do now. Can we get? Okay, we'll have plenty now. We'll keep going. We're definitely going to need a lot more feathers, a lot more. I'm just a little, a little hesitant to roam around picking up more feathers here just because I don't want to start spawning in zombies quite yet. Um, let's get this one going here. Oh, I thought this was already broken up. Eh, oh well. Okay, so let's take a look at our club situation here. So we can do that. We'll get a little bit more, and then we'll get some wood, and then we'll start to kind of do a little uh, exploring here, kind of check out our area. There we go. 
couple more seconds and our club will be ready. Okay, it's ready. So let's scrap that. All right. So hopefully we can get somewhere for the night. Um, just a shack will do. We don't need anything too fancy. Just, just so we can survive the first few nights. And then I will start to build a base. Um, I might go back to my normal... Um, you know, my uh, 3 by 3 base that I build. Um, I don't know why I picked up the rock. I should have plenty of rocks. Yeah, 214. Um, you know, and just build a standalone base. Stay away from the POIs. Um, and then eventually just uh, start digging downward a little sooner than I normally would. Um, and then, you know, the... And maybe try to stick it out on Horde Knight on my, you know, makeshift base, I suppose. There won't be any uh, spider zombies right away, which is nice. So, um, you know, building any kind of lip around my, my base isn't as big of a concern as it used to be. Come on. Yeah, we need to get our, our, our uh, tool smithing up as well here. Now we need one point. Dang it. Wood. Okay, and I am still first level, so once that goes up, I'll have points for it. Ah, uh, let's scrap that as well, in case we need more. Okay, let's get some wood. We need wood. And I was, I'm pretty sure, um, the traders. Let's repair that. Oh, did I not repair it? Repair. So getting close here. Let's see here. So what do we want to do? Do we want to try and cross the desert? I hope they really uh, up the uh, wildlife. That was kind of a bummer um, since they raised the meat stew uh, requirement. Um, it would be nice to be able to find more animals. I hope they did that. Oh, there's a shack there, I suppose. Um, and it, I don't know if that's like a little mini town. It looks like more than one building. We could try going across, I suppose, here. I might as well get going. It's already, what, almost 2 o'clock? Um, we're eventually going to need to get moving here. Ooh, come on. Okay, what is that? I thought I saw something moving. Was that a chicken? Is that a chicken or a rabbit? I can't tell. Oh, it's a chicken. I'm hesitant to run over there just because um, I feel like if I if I run over there I'm gonna start spawning zombies really fast. What was that? I thought I heard something else. So problem now is I'm not gonna get much from it just because I'm using a, uh, a stone axe, but it is what it is. I'll get what I can. And I wonder if they now stuck on no. So you still don't, you're still not smelly if you have uh, meat on you, which is kind of nice. I'm enjoying that right now. So eventually that's going to go away. There it is. Okay. I did see quite a few uh, nests on the way here. I just, I can't remember where they were at. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay. So the merchant is actually, okay, maybe that wasn't the merchant that I saw. There was a big building. Oh, I can't see it. Um. We'll just keep going here. We'll pick up a bunch of aloe and uh, yucca plants. Yucca plants are going to be kind of worthless right now. Uh, well, not really worthless, but I, without any glass jars, I can't make anything, uh, any yucca juice. That is okay. Check out this trash here along the way as well be some useful items oh our first zombie and she's a crawler nice that makes it nice and easy come on over here lady 
Oh, come on. My aim hasn't improved. Wow, that didn't take long. Normally I'm like smacking them for the next five minutes just to kill one of them. It would be interesting if they were all crawlers at, in the first day, just to give you a good good head start. Let's check this trash. Uh oh, there we go. Now we got one standing. Let's go this way. I'm not in a real big hurry to get in a fight. What was that? What? What is that noise? That's crazy. Oh, it's that boar. I was like, what the hell is that? Okay, we, we're going to need the boar. He's probably going to come right at us too. Oh, did we kill him? Did we get any bones yet? Dang it, no bones. Okay. Well, this will be our first one. So then we can make a shiv. And I suppose it won't give me a shiv till the very end. So this will be kind of a way. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's... Whoops, not sure why I did that. So this should help. There we go. So let's make a few more barbed fences. I'm feeling kind of naked with only uh, the six there. Let's do that. Okay. Wow, that was kind of a weird sound that that was making. I'm sure it's normal, but... Alright, we're going to have to fight. We're going to have to give... Oh, no. Now there's a bunch of them showing up now. Oh, boy. Here we go. It's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. Of course, they don't fall for it. They go around those stupid fences. Oh, that was quick. Oh, normally, you've got to really let them grind it out on the fence before they lose their legs, but not today. Today's a good day. Come on. There we go. So I am going to pick, well, this one definitely back up. Or chop it up, anyway. Not so sure about this one. I'm not going to worry about that one. I'm going to keep going here. We're getting plenty of feathers. Good. Plenty of arrows. That's good. Yeah, let's just keep going. So what, what was my plan here? Wow, there's a lot more zombies, huh? I don't remember them spawning that fast. Give me something good here. Really? I suppose I could keep the wooden club and use it in to burn uh, as fuel for a campfire. Oh, did I bring my bed with me? No, okay, I put it down. So, in a way, that's kind of good. We can make another bed. Um... That way, at least, I'm in the same area when I do respawn back in. It's kind of a pain in the ass when you respawn and you're like five miles from where you originally started. Um, not to mention the disorientation that's that ensues afterwards where you're just trying to figure out where the heck you are. Okay, so good. We're getting some good supplies here as we trek across here. And what was... Were we going to the trader? Dang it, I forgot what I wanted to do. Or did I want to go to that? Yeah, let's head towards the trader. Let's go head north and then, um, and then, uh, whoa, fat Mr. Fatty. Do not want to tumble with him quite yet. Pick up a few things here along the way. Only the important stuff, of course. Oh, ouch. My first uh, wound I sustained from a cactus. Perfect. Alright, so let's keep mo moving here.
All right, so let's get some more items here. And where is the trader? Okay, so that was the trader I saw in the distance, which is nice. They're putting it a little bit closer than norm uh, than they used to. In the past, you there was no way you could get to it in the first day, unless you just ran the entire way without any without running into any zombies. Oh, really? Here we go. There we go. Is that just him? Okay, good. Oh, so we're back to my old shenanigans. Missing, of course. There we go. Here we go. Get him to come across this line here. All right. Oh, you can hear a skull just crack on that one. All right, let's pick these up and get moving. It's already 4.30. I mean, just check out the trader. There isn't going to be anything I can buy, obviously, but uh, it will be worth checking him out. What's going on here? Oh, it's like, what the? Um, be nice if we could get a glass jar. We could find one of those, then we'd be sitting pretty good. Uh, meat's still going to be... Um, not having a cooking pot's going to be an issue, but... Yeah, it is what it is. How much leather do I have? Five. Yeah, we need to find... Oh, there's a vulture. We need to find uh, more animals. It's going to be slow going because I just... I I feel like I've got to acquire a lot of stuff um, first. Just to kind of get ready for any eventualities. Alright, I see that crawler over there. How are we doing on metal? Okay, so we're still good on metal. Uh, we will eventually need to get more. All right, let's keep moving here. So I don't know if when I uh, raise the blood moon um, spawn or uh, whatever enemy spawn, if that just raised uh, the amount of zombies that are starting to spawn in, um, which. Which is fine. I just it seems like there's more zombies now um, that are spawning in, which is okay. We need to fight them. This is why we're here. There we go. So we got some food. Okay, these guys. Man, that one guy looks like a giant. Why is he taller than the other dude? I don't know. Um, you know we could try to whittle one of them down. Or not. Oh, really? There we go. Right into my trap. There you go. One to the face. There we go. What do you got, bro? Nothing, of course. Yeah, they did... I think I did remember hearing that they nerfed uh, what you could get from uh, zombies. Waste all my arrows in the first day. Oh, a crit. Everybody loves a crit. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's just, uh, let's pack up and go. All right, we can leave one. That's fine. Let's go check out the trader. Let's see what he's got. All right, nothing in the trash. Nothing there. All right. Let's let's go check it out here before he closes for the night. Oh boy, look at that! We got the biker dude. Do not want to mess with the biker dude. Those guys are pretty vicious. Guess I could just sell him a bunch of yucca plants. <laughs> There's a ton of those around. Okay, so where can I go? I suppose the entrance is on the opposite side of this building here. Alright, so we finished that. We've completed our quest. Um, so let's see, where is the entrance? Come on, man. You're going to make me climb over it? Oh, I can't. I can't put anything down. That's right. Can't build near it or anything. Alright, so here's a burning barrel, which is nice. Oh, you can't take those. Oh, that sucks. Alright. 
All right, buddy. What do you got here? Ooh, he's got blueberries. Blueberries, and then of course the chemistry chem station, which is nice. Can I take that? No. Cheapskate. And a forge. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, and he's already got stuff in it. Um. Dang it. Do I have? How many pipes do I have? I have one. I do need the pipes. Gonna need that. Nails, I don't really need. The sandwich, I don't really need either, but... Let's just scrap that. Take the forged iron. To interact with the vending machine? No. So let's go take a look here. What do you got, buddy? Put away your weapon unless you'd like to die in my store. Yay. Easy. Easy. Alright, do we got anything? Leather would be good if we could get... 66. Does he buy any of my stuff? Sells two. So what? I could get 80 for that. And then leather. Is that. So is that 66 for each one? Surely not, right? That would be tough. I won't buy that. Is there anything he will pay? Oh, I do have a jar. I'm an idiot. Why didn't I see that? What about glue? Meat. No, I can't sell the meat. That's for sure. Ooh, what about the forged iron? Six. It's only gonna give me six for each one? That's a ripoff. What does that give me? 102? And that would give me one leather. And I don't know. That might not be worth it. What about this? No rocks. <laughs> wood. No. What about wood frames? No. Nope. Ah, come on, you're killing me. You'll give me 16 for the can of salmon, huh? Duct tape. Nails, come on, dude, really? Hmm. I'd go broke with more customers Let's see like here. you. Tor oh, Torak. Torch. What do I need for torch? Okay, so I do need the animal fat, so I do want to hang on to that. So, what to do, what to do. Alright, so there was a building... I think over here. So let's go take a look because we really need to get a move on. Anyway, there wasn't. Well, I didn't really look that hard at stuff there, but. I don't have any money, so it's not going to do me a whole lot of good. So I do want to head south. Southwest. What is that? A tiny purse. Bandage. That won't do me any good. All right, so can I see that house from here? There was that. Oh, it's way over there. Okay. Uh, let's stay on the road. Let's just take the road around and uh, let's see what we can find along the way. Okay, so there's something over there, too. We could just hold up there for the night. Um, what is that? Is that a camping area? A camping area? That is definitely not a good place to be. Although there might be leather there, too. Keep going. I should have sold him the sandwich. I wonder if we would have bought a sham sandwich for me. Yeah, the copper... Not copper. The uh, brass... What is that? What was that? Was that a rat? I'm assuming it was a rabbit. I don't know where he went. Oh, there's a deer! Crap, but I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna have to fight somebody to get through here. Let's see if I run through, will they even notice? No, okay, good. So maybe they did turn up the wildlife. I really hope they did, because that was... Man, that was terrible. Yeah, and I love that you can hear when your arrow <laughs> hits something. That is awesome. Yeah, so I'm not going to get all 20 leather from here. Um, but it's a good start. There we go. Okay. Ooh, boy. Hey, let's take her on. I don't mind these... 
I think those are the undead moms or whatever. Oh. Okay, so I promised I wouldn't take these kind of chances. And I already am. There we go. Wow. I'm glad there's not a camera on me. If you guys saw me, the way I was moving, like I was actually dodging, dodging her right here. <laughs> like that made a difference for my character in game. All right, let's see here. Okay, so the cans, there's no water nearby though, is there? Oh, that's gonna be a problem, isn't it? Dang it. Um, I've got, f I've got canned food, so that should be fine. Um, because, yeah, dang it, water is gonna be an issue. Oh, well, you have yucca plants, so that must be the building I saw was over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and head this way. Is that a water tower? Some kind of elevated building. Uh, I like it. I like elevation at first. It's great. Eh, can't use can't use brass yet. It's kind of worthless to me for the moment. So what are we looking at? 28. That'll get us 14 cloth. Let's um, let me just load up here. I don't know what you can stack up to. I wonder if it's 100 now. 50. It used to be 50. I thought was the limit. We'll find out, huh? Let's give it a shot. Um, let's grab this one. I'm, I suppose there was more. What did I pick up? Oh, rock. So I'm at... Where am I? Oh, 50. I'm at 50. Let's try one more. Here we go. Well, let me? Okay, so you can go over 50. Huh, okay. Ooh, look at this place. Like a little mini fortress. What the? Hopefully this isn't like another merchant, is it? Oh, is it really? That kind of stinks. I guess I'll find out here in a minute. I almost want to kill this guy just so he doesn't bother me while I'm trying to get in. Okay. Oh, it is! Dang it, another traitor! Crap! It's really, we really need to find a place now. Dang it, I don't remember where that other base was. That other house. The other house was south of here, wasn't it? Let's, let's see if we can make it there. Otherwise, we are going to be in trouble. Dang it, and I don't remember exactly where... Hmm. I don't want to head too far south. Um... What was that? I hear like trees and brush moving there. Scared the crap out of me. Alright, that's not going to do me any good. Alright, so... I'm tempted to start picking up more wood in case I do need to make some kind of... Uh, Little temp base. Whoops, no, I want wood. Oh, really? I hit everything except the wood. Yeah, we got an hour here, folks. Could be a little tight. It's actually not a bad place to build. It is pretty flat here. Where am I heading? Okay, so let's head more east here. I could just set up shop on a rock too. That's always uh, an option. All right, so we got to be getting to to the edge here. Nope, I keep going. Ooh. Look at that guy spawned right on the rock. That's that's well. What is that? Dang it! It's a building, or I'd say a uh, rock. Hmm. A giant circle here. Oh, more deer though. Sweet. We are going to be eating good here for a little while. Let's uh, search this. Make sure there isn't anything I can use in here. There's some dew coins, but five is not going to do it. Oh, good shot. Man, I'm 
I'm money with the bow now. Yeah, it used to take me like 10 arrows to take down a deer. Alright, it's going to get dark real quick here, so i got to figure out what I'm going to do here. It might have to be a rock. Because there's no way... Is that it there? It's not a tent, is it? Because if it's a tent, that's not that's not gonna help me. Dang it! I think it is a tent. You gotta be kidding me! And in the desert, no less, right? That's a tent, right? Yeah, that's a tent. That ain't gonna help me. Yeah, we're gonna have to stop on a rock here. I don't, I don't see any other option here. Just gotta make sure there's no like smooth edges where they can walk up. Well, there, that was pretty easy to get up. Um, maybe if I put this part in, maybe if I go like this. Is that what I was okay? So we'll get up here. I think I'm gonna call this call it a day here. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the episode, go ahead and smash that like button and uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I will see you in the next episode. Adios.